Hi. This info session is part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aim of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. Some of today's most important environmental concerns relate to the composition of the atmosphere, the increasing concentrations of the greenhouse gases and the cooling effect of aerosols are prominent drivers of changing climate. To address these environmental concerns, there is a need for data and processed information. The Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service CAMS, has been developed to meet these needs, aiming to support policymakers, business and citizens with enhanced atmospheric environmental information. In this module, I will show you how to access, retrieve and visualize greenhouse gases from camps. Local authorities, climate stakeholders, as well as industries at city scales, country and global scales, need to account for their greenhouse gases emissions and sinks for declarative obligations or for voluntary policies. Information from CAMS products related to greenhouse gases can be used as input for delivering added value products. CAMS provides referenced, validated and timely and spatially consistent datasets and reduce emissions from deforestation and degradation in developing countries. RED initiatives need validated and consolidated information on net total greenhouse gases fluxes from forest ecosystems. As a reference for benchmarking for supporting RED program and for specific RED projects, or as inputs for delivering added value products. This submodule shows how to access the CAMS net total flux reanalysis derived from inversion of satellite and in situ observations and global greenhouse gases atmospheric content daily forecast. The access to these specific products is free but limited to registered users. So it is necessary that you register on the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecast called ECMWF. Here we show the necessary steps to select and download CAMS greenhouse gas data. First, go to CAMS catalog, use the following link on the slide. The user can select the following products, the global greenhouse gas net total flux or the global greenhouse gas daily forecast. Select data download and fill in the request form or log in. It's important to know that the access to these specific products is free but limited to registered users. So, it is necessary that you register for the CAMS catalog through the ECMWF portal. Connect to the ECMWF portal, select the following options, time interval by using the slide at the top of the page. Then select a parameter carbon dioxide, methane or nitrous oxide, followed by the data type. Also, select the version of the data that you would like to download. A product description is provided for each version type. Then select frequency. The options are 3 hourly, daily average or monthly average. And finally, select the quantity type, which can be concentration, or surface flux. Retrieve NetCDF file. Visualize the results. The following slide shows three quick views of the global flux inversion reanalysis for methane, carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide. This allows the user to get familiar with the data. This slide shows two quick views of the global forecast of the greenhouse gases. As always, you can download the data from the CAMS catalog and even search for greenhouse gas fluxes. Here, in addition to the quick views presented in two last slides, three examples of visualization software that user can use to 
look and manipulate the products. Panoplu. Panoplu is developed by the NASA and it plots georeferenced arrays from NetCDF, HDF, GRIP and other datasets. Panoplu is a cross-platform application that runs on Mac, Windows, Linux and other desktop computers. Panoplu can be downloaded through the link on the slide. QGIS. QGIS is an open source geographic information system. QGIS is an official project of the Open Source Geospatial Foundation. It runs on Linux, Unix, Mac, Windows and Android. It supports numerous vector, raster and database formats and functionalities. QGIS can be downloaded through the link on the slide. NCView. NCView is a NetCDF visual browser, which allows you to get a quick and easy look at your NetCDF files. It runs on Unix platforms. More information and download through the link on the slide. In the next slide, an example of visualizing greenhouse gas flux using NCView is given. Here we show a few snapshots of using the NC view. NC view allows user to get familiar with the data through quick views. The user can select different variables, change color schemes and magnify the image and several other things. In this example, the NetCDF file containing the two global surface fluxes is shown. NC view provides information on the variable in the main image, such as name, variable, units, minimum and maximum value, location of the cursor on the plot. This slide lists the names of the variables split by source. So, for the greenhouse gas net total fluxes for carbon dioxide, we have five variables. Nitrous oxide contains only one variable, surface upward mass flux of nitrogen for the whole grid box and the whole month. We have carbon dioxide and methane daily forecasts. Currently, the data is not yet online available, but the request for the data can be made through the link on the slide. Thank you for watching this video.